Lakeisha Lockhart, thank you so much for uh, joining us for our three-year lunch and lecture series on adolescent faith and flourishing, um, the theology of joy. And today, I just, I wanted to, um, you lectured on playfulness. Why do you think playfulness is necessary for adolescent faith and flourishing? Absolutely, thank you for, for having me. Uh, I think playfulness is so important because in everything that's going on with the world, youth need to have a space where they can be free. They're dealing with parental stress and fear and their need for control. They're dealing with educational policies that really focus on standardized testing and not necessarily the whole person. Right. They're dealing with their own fears around body image, bullying, this need to achieve at all costs. And it's really taking a toll on them. And I, I love the idea that playfulness gives them this space to kind of be a little freer, to think about the possibilities and what's possible. Uh, Kenda Creasy Dean in her work uses this image of a lobster. She, when it's molting, she refers to it in the sense of churches and denominations and theological mm -hmm. schools. But I think about it in terms of youth. So it's kind of this lobster molting, so it has to, it has to grow, right? So it has to shed this huge outer shell in order to grow, to, to live, to have its being. So its molting process is basically when it, it takes on water and bloats, and then it starts to turn itself inside out mm. in its shell. So it brings its eyes in, so the eyes are temporarily out of their socket, and they're completely blind and kind of defenseless in the space. And I feel like that's where a lot of youth are. Mm -hmm. They're in this space where they're molting. They're, they're figuring things out. They're kind of at their most vulnerable place and all of their inner parts are being exposed and they're not quite sure who to be or what to be. And the world is telling them all of these kinds of things that they're being bombarded with in the media, in the news, and you should do this, make us proud, do that, that it's hard for them to figure out who they are. And playfulness allows them this beautiful and great possibility to hold all of those cares a little more lightly, mm -hmm. to not let them be so heavy so they can actually enjoy life and enjoy going through and being who they are and who they feel God has called them to be as they're still figuring it out, <laughs> as they're molting and shedding and growing. So it's this beautiful thing that allows them this wonderful opportunity to experience themselves and their identity in a free and open space. Thank you.